everybody happy thursday bonnie donahue here and we are here for another episode of our healthy mom chat so we started this a couple months ago and every month or every week i'm bringing on uh, another woman or a mom to share their knowledge with you right and so i'm just like really excited i love this we're all about a community of moms helping other moms and so this has been exciting it's every thursday at one o'clock Eastern time, and I'm, I'm doing it live on my Essential Oils for Moms Facebook page, posting it to my YouTube, and then we're putting it into a podcast that should be up, I think, within a week. So welcome. I see you guys getting on. If you guys are on live, I'd love to hear where you're from, um, post what questions that you have, and we are going to be watching the questions and comments coming live. So to get right to it, we have an awesome guest speaker. I'm so excited to feature her. I've known her for a couple of years now, and she is awesome. She's beautiful, wonderful soul and spirit, and a new mom. So she has a three-year-old and then a uh, what, what we were, 10-month-old, almost 10-month-old. And we were talking this morning. We were trying to figure out, like, what what do the moms need to hear, and what what would you know this mom want to hear before she got started with oils? And she said, you know what, there's some things that are on my heart right now and I feel like this is exactly what women and moms want to hear They're talking about removing toxins making the switch to you know toxic to non-toxic lifestyle but in a simple way that you can take like action steps today and so she's done the research and she's done the hard work already and she just wants to share simple ways that moms can just feel empowered but without taking all the time and feeling like they're overwhelmed because they don't know where to start. So she takes all of that and puts it into a bundle in a beautiful package and say, here you go. Um, this is what you know we're using. This is what's working. And she just loves to share her tips. So I am excited and honored to have Ashley Knox here with you guys today. And um, oh, I'm getting comments. Awesome. If you guys are, what ages are your kids? I'd love to know. So we can kind of um, cater it and, um, give as much value as we can. So Ashley, thank you so much. I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to have you kind of share what's been on your heart and you've been on your own health journey and doing the best you can for your family. So I'm anxious and I'm ready to take notes also. Yay. Well, thank you so much for asking me. Um, disclaimer, you guys, I don't normally look like this. I told Bonnie, I said, you're <laughs> lucky. I took a shower today. So I am like fresh and clean for you guys. Yesterday I was going on like day four hair. So you guys get the glossy version of me. So you're beautiful. Um, <laughs> and I, I also only wash my hair like once or twice a week. We're heavy in cornstarch today. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm growing my hair long so I can just do a bun again because I miss those days. Um, well, I just am so excited to get to talk to you guys. I first just, you know, thinking back to who I was three years ago as a new mom, um, I just want to tell you guys that are listening and that are going to listen later that you – a good mom. You're a good mom, whether you do anything on my list or anything that Bonnie says, you're a good mom. This does not define you. Um, these are tips to help you in your journey. And I just, I just really felt like even now, like being a mom of two, three years later, like I still needed to hear that. I still need to hear that. that I'm a good mom. What I do in my day defines me or does not define me. So just know that, just know that you're rocking it. You wear a lot of hats. Maybe you're a full-time mom, whatever. You're still good. So just know that in your soul. Um, but I just want to kind of walk you guys through, first of all, what I do just daily from the time my kids wake up until they go to bed, um, just kind of what our life looks like. And this isn't what it always looked like. And I'll talk about that, but this is just basic what our house does. Um, so in the morning, before my kiddos wake up, I try, try is the key word, to have a diffuser going um, of at least on guard, if nothing else. Um, sometimes it's on guard and breathe, but mostly on guard. And honestly, I do that from like August until, so like back to school until April or March. Um, just in that, um, you know, when we're all feeling under the weather, I just love to have on guard being the thing that we're breathing in. So diffuser in the morning. Um, while I'm getting my kiddos dressed. So my little guy's three now. He, I literally hand him the new um, kids stronger roller 
and he those are beautiful. I love so them. beautiful. And he is so excited to like, I, you know, these are for kids, Morgan, like these are yours. You know, I have, these are mommy's oils right here in my, in the glass, but he gets, you know, the special one and he knows he, so he was pretty smart on this on his own. He um, always asked me what the red one meant or like what the color meant. Mm -hmm. So I told him that red meant healthy, um, that he can put it on to stay healthy. You know, so that's kind of how it resonates with him. So anyway, but I let him roll his, his own feet. And, um, he actually, because he just, he grew up with oils. He rolled his sister's feet too. Oh, that's so so while I'm maybe like struggling to get a shirt on her, he is rolling her feet. Um, you know, and it doesn't always happen that way, but usually, you know, that's how it goes. Um, so I let my kids do it. If I let them have ownership of that, if they're old enough to do that. Um, and we were just talking right before we got live, how helpful a three-year-old can be. <laughs> oh gosh, so helpful. Even, you know, guys, and he was 10 months old when I joined doTERRA. So I've been in it for three years and, um, he, I mean, I have a video of him. He was probably one and a half when I started to hand the roller bottle to him and like help him roll the bottom of his feet. Um, because I wanted to instill in him that that's where it goes and that's how we were going to roll in our family. Right. Literally. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally how we're going to roll. Um, so I ran out of these. I tried to have props for a lot of things, but, um, we're out of some things that are coming. So my kids multivitamin, the one that doTERRA has, um, we use that. And I was trying to think back. So they're pretty, you know, they're for a child who can chew well, but even when Morgan was again, able to chew well and not choke on things, um, I would, I got a pill cutter and I cut it not only in half, but I cut that half down again. And I would give him those little pieces one at a time because they dissolve pretty quick. So, right. I mean, just make discretion. Um, I always tell moms, do what makes you feel comfortable. If that doesn't make you feel comfortable, then don't do it. Um, but I knew my kid well enough to know that he could handle that. So kids multivitamin. Um, and then a PB Assist Junior. I mean, he gets, I just, again, it's by my coffee. It's by all the things. So I cut off the top and just hand it to him mm -hmm. again, when he was younger. Um, and I tried to think of exactly when I started it, I know he was close to one and I would do like half the pack in applesauce or like baby cereal or something that he was going to be eating. And, and I did this because doctors, um, you know, have told me before, even when Adley was an infant that babies can take probiotics. Um, now there are certain kinds for infants, but so I knew already that like, it was okay for me to use probiotics. Why I started using them young with Morgan is because I went, the babies get in that stage where they're going from like baby food to like solid food. Right. And they're, they're, I mean, he would cry when he would poop, you know, because it's just harder to get out. So, um, I just wanted to like soften the process. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had a friend who had kind of told her doctor what she was doing and um, he was okay with her using the doTERRA probiotics. So I just kind of learned from her that I could just cut that dosage in half, put it in applesauce, good to go. So he gets one of those daily. Um, and Adley does at least once a week, I try to mix it in with something of hers. So I don't give it to her every day, but I try to do it once a week. My kids um, literally um, fight over the the PB uh, just the juniors. And now we just had Halloween and I'm like the meat mom and I don't let them eat candy. So, and they, are, they had a few pieces, but now they're like, that's their candy. It's yeah. good. They're like, mom, I can't believe it. They're like, you should hand these out for perfect <laughs> I'm like, no, because they won't know what they are. They won't value them, but right. uh, I'm glad you think they're candy. <laughs> they're no, so they're candy. so good. I have them too. Like they're definitely my like afternoon. Like I think I'm cheating when I get to have like a pixie stick is what we, you know, what I think of it. So Yes. Um, good when I get a craving, I, I sneak in the PB Assist Junior. I'm like, that's my craving, like, yeah. sweetness, the sweet tooth. Yes. Yep. So it's definitely an easy thing. And again, I'm empowering him to, like, he knows he can just dump the whole thing in his mouth if he wants to. Now, again, when he was littler, I used to help him, you know, dump it in his mouth. But so, again, just use discretion. Um, in the afternoon, so my kiddos are not with me Tuesdays and Thursdays. I send them to the sitter. So this doesn't always match. But if they're home with me, um, in the afternoon before we go up to nap, I do, if they're under the weather, if 
um, they're not feeling well, I use the on guard roller again. So mm -hmm. I do the bottom of their feet or down their spine. I don't always do that. Like if it's just in the summertime, you know, they don't need it as much. But winter or if we're going to be visiting family in the nursery, library store time, I make sure that I'm doing extra doses of on guard. So by all the germs. Yep. Yes, the breeding grounds. <laughs> um, so I love, again, on guard roller is fabulous. Um, and then nap time, I do sleep oils. So uh, diffuser, if <laughs> all my, both my kids have diffusers in their rooms, but you know, sometimes you forget to take water up with you and you just don't have water to fill those little guys. So um, what I learned is that I could, um, with peace, lavender, or serenity. So my little girl, she's 10 months, so she's in a crib. <laughs> She has a humidifier going in her room right now because she's kind of under the weather. So I don't have a diffuser and a humidifier going, but I put maybe like one to two drops um, just directly on her mattress because she turns in the night and she's all over the place. So I know at least that aroma is in there. Mm -hmm. And then again, same for Morgan. If I forget to fill the diffuser, I'll put a couple drops of peace on his pillow or serenity on his pillow. Or he holds a couple of stuffed animals at night. So I'll put them right on the stuffed animal where he's going to be holding them. And I know that he's still getting the benefits of those, you know, oils. Um, now, if I do take water up, of course, I'll do, um, I'll diffuse these oils. I don't <clears throat> always do both, like pillow, mattress, and diffuser. But, I mean, again, it's okay. Just do what's easy and what you can grab. Um, now I will say before we do the whole like bedtime routine, um, this was new for me that I added in. Morgan never got this, but since Adley and they take a bath together right now, um, when Morgan, when we started going to the sitter, um, I just knew they were going to be exposed to so much more. The sitter was new to us this year and my kids escaped the flu bug at the sitter's house. Um, but they did have congestion, like the, you know, all the runny things. So I started, I saw um, a mom and I believe she's a blue diamond. And I honestly forget her name because I, I just screenshotted what her protocol was, but she started doing detox baths with her kids. And so, um, I just knew I needed to do something, um, different because I had two kids now and I was adding in the factor of they were going to be around a lot of germs so, and they take a bath almost every night. Um, so I literally, doTERRA almost has everything, but they don't have Epsom salts. So, um, Amazon is where you can get Epsom salts, you guys. And I mean, I literally just took the most like highest rated one. <laughs> There was a, there was a yeah, that, you know, like, and some of them are made for kids, you know, that even, um, come in like a, like nighttime version or whatever it is. But I just started using Epsom salts with them because they were already going to be in the bathtub. Um, and then I would do like one to two drops of lavender in there with, um, you know, put the salts and put the oils in with the salts and then put them in the bathtub um, now, if you're really good and organized, and I wasn't the first time around that I started doing this, I would literally just scoop the Epsom salts out and kind of sprinkle them in because I was just doing the basics. Um, now, this has almonds in it, so don't judge me. But just they, these jars are like dollar or two dollars at the Dollar Tree. So just get like put them in your cupboard or I've learned that if it's not in the room that I'm in, I'm not going to use it. Yep. So I sound like a mom. <laughs> We're running all over the place. No, and I just didn't have time. And it took two kids for me to realize that. Yep. Um, that I just couldn't be all the places. And they were already in the bathtub and then I didn't have what I needed. So I got, um, this was a while ago, but during school, Doter or, um, Target has like these really cute shelves and it was a little house and I put it in my bathroom and I put any oil that I would use in the bathtub or that my kiddos could use in the bathtub or ones that I used on my face. And that's where those oils live. And that means that I might have to buy duplicates of those oils to keep somewhere else in my house, um, their bedroom or whatever, because again, you're running all over the place and you don't have time to transfer all of them. So yeah. give yourself jars, a glass jar, somewhere cheap, um, doesn't have to be fancy and fill it with Epsom salts. Um, now, 
I'm sure that I can send this to Bonnie and she can get it to you guys somehow, but I'll send her the recipe that this um, woman, she actually has like measured out if you're that person um, with like baking soda, Epsom salts, how many drops, um, you know, why it's important to all those details. So again, I'm trying to keep it basic. I wasn't that detailed when I just started using Epsom salts. Um, so I'm a huge fan with the yeah. baths. I've been making them for years and I do one cup Epsom salt, half cup baking soda. And sometimes we'll use a little bit, a drizzle of the body wash or mm -hmm. if I'm lazy, I'll just do a pump of the soap or I mean the shampoo. Yeah. Because it's like already in the bath. And, yeah, see? Uh, yes. and then just whatever oils that we want to use, I'll just do a few drops and it can be very simple. Yeah. But I'm like you, I'm like, I try to keep the bathroom ones, the cooking oils with my cooking, the citrus ones with my water, yeah. um, the bedtime ones next to my bed. So you need to have them in a spot you're actually going to use them because if they're in your cabinet in the kitchen, you're never going to use them. You're never going to like get out of the bath naked to go find the oil. No, <laughs> absolutely not. And it, to make it, it, simple. I, it took me a while to figure that out. Like that's so simple. But it just didn't connect with me that that's why I wasn't using my oils like I should be. So keep them where you're going to be. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. hear the obvious sometimes because it's not obvious. Common sense is not always common sense. <laughs> I know. It's, we just can't do it all. <laughs> we have to have all the special things. Um, okay. So that's, so that's our bedtime. Um, you know, like, so bath with salts, on guard rollers, sleep oils. Um, again, I love this one. You guys, I use this. I had to take, I had to get this from underneath my pillow to use in this video because I steal this from my children. Um, it's the new calmer from the on guard or the kids kit. I love this. Um, so again, Morgan knows purple means sleep and he rolls the back of his neck, bless his little heart, or like he'll roll his, you know, little chest or wherever we can find. Um, and we love that. And then I diffuse too, again, in their rooms at nighttime, or like I said before, pillow hacks or mattress. So that's just like bare minimum, like what I do during the day. Um, and so if I'm picking up my kids from the sitter or if we've, you know, left the library, um, if we're going to the grocery store, uh, anywhere where there's going to be, you know, lots of germs outside the house, I take this guy, my on guard sanitizer spray. Mm -hmm. And they know when they get in the car, at least Morgan does, you know, that we spray our hands. So I love this. It's a simple, again, spray down the cart, um, spray their hands, whatever, doorknobs. Um, I love that sanitizer spray. So that's like an added on, but you can make your own too. And, and you can go to Pinterest for that um, with the on guard oil. Um, another thing that's just in our house that my kids use is the soap. Um, so not only do we wash our hands with this, but this is how I clean my fruit too. And Morgan is at the age where he can open up the fridge now and get out apples or raspberries. Um, so I, you know, soak my um, raspberries in one to two pumps of this yep. and just let all of that gunk get off. And, you know, my husband, I told him, he was like, why'd you make a video about that? Because I did a video of that. He's like, isn't it common sense that, you know, like you wash off your fruit? And I was like, it's not because some of it comes bagged, like it's labeled organic or it comes in a carton and no one's touched it, but it got in there somehow. And people sneeze and they, you know, do all the things while they're at the store. So you just never know. So just I soak my fruit or wash the apples. Um, and that way Morgan, you know, knows that he can go in the fridge and grab things that are already clean and I don't have to worry about that. Um, the other thing that I love that I kind of carry, I should have one of these. This is what I should have in multiple places in my house is I just use um, the concentrate cleaner in all the, I, I don't know. I mean, I just use it everywhere and I, I'll admit I was, I just like two weeks ago got rid of all those Swiffer sheets, you guys, <laughs> all of those. Cause I, and I just, I just knew that I could do better. So um, I spray my floors, I spray my toilets, I spray the sinks, um, I spray down trays um, that my kids eat off of, tables. Gosh, I mean, I use this concentrate cleaner, but if I don't have the cleaner, so you can um, use the On Guard oil, and I believe you can use vinegar, 
and then water. Um, and there's probably a really good recipe on Pinterest if you um, type all those things in. But I mean, it's just another hack and it's easy. And my, I spray it in the bathtub, um, you know, to wash out the bathtub after, you know, we're done in there or whatever. So I love that. Um, I do about four cup of vinegar to three fourths cup water, and then you add in like I usually like do it drops of on guard or something. On guard, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have in the bathroom, every bathroom, and then the kitchen. Yeah, no, I never know. Because <laughs> now I'm like, I have a couple bathrooms, and I'm like transporting it all over. So again, I just need to join my own language in the train and just put multiple in different places because. Again, if it's not there, it's going to be longer for me to get to it to actually use it. So, but I do love that. Um, but I love that you're real. And so I wrote that you're just doing simple steps, one thing at a time. Yeah. It's taking you two years and you're still, I mean, I'm too, we're still constantly improving our system. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. And I would say too, like when I would hear, you know, like a lot of people talk when I first joined about doing all these things. Like that was overwhelming to me because yeah. I wanted to do all the things, but it wasn't a habit yet. So, um, I, I couldn't do it. So what, I mean, what I did with Morgan is I just started with like rolling his feet. I only had one kid and that's literally all I did. Cause I could just do that in my day. I was a new mom and there's, you're just overwhelmed. Um, he hardly got things diffused. He didn't get sleepy oils. Like he just got the bare minimum and he's okay. You know, like he's okay. So it's okay to just add on as you go and you're going to, you know, eventually get to the place wherever that is for you. That's comfortable. But this is just a three year in the making. So this is not like overnight unless you want to do that and then go for it. Um, and then uh, the only other thing that I really wanted to mention. So that's, that's like, my kids are, you know, not like they're feeling good. Like that's just the, that's what we do. But if they're under the weather, um, and actually one of my little, my little girl is right now, so I can speak truth to this. Um, she is not feeling so well. So I have been doing the detox bath. Um, she has congestion going on in some places. So I have been using the um, I made my own and you guys, if you get, I don't even have one next to me right now, but let's say that my Magnolia roller wasn't on guard. Um, you can buy these from doTERRA. They come diluted, um, safe from infant to elderly, good to go. And if you run out, don't throw these beautiful bottles away. You can reuse them. So you can literally, they make it so easy to pop this roller off and to refill with the oils that you have to make you know, another digest in or another on guard. So I just wanted you to know you don't have to have your own like roller bottles available, but I did make one that I digest in for her um, to have again in multiple places. And so I've been rolling this down her nose um, because I've been making her uh, less congested. And then, so I love that hack. And I didn't know that for a long time. I thought it was just for bellies, but it is good for loosening things you you put the breathe or the digest in digest in on the nose okay yeah how many yes. well she's she's a baby but how many drafts for the 10 milliliter this this probably has one to two and i i tell my people my customers to one to two because it's okay if you aim for one and two come out because <laughs> some oils just come that out happens. so it's okay but for her it was just one um and i just keep refilling it but I, I mean, and it will work. And I use this for myself too, if I'm not feeling so clear in my nose. Yeah. Um, that is a good tip because I never thought about that either. No. Yeah, no. I, get, I, I don't know it before. <laughs> yeah, I saw mom do it and I was like, well, what the heck? Let's, let's just go there. Let's just try it. <laughs> um, and then another thing I've been doing for her chest, um, the Breathe Stick is awesome. I love the Breathe Vapor Stick that already comes like ready to go, but I've been running low on it. And again, I saw another mom um, and actually got have gotten told this many times, but uh, and I hope I pronounced this right, but cardamom mm -hmm. is actually really, really good for respiratory. And I don't know the um, how to pronounce the word for it, but it is one of the highest, it has like doTERRA said like one in eight of whatever 
makes this amazing for respiratory and like congestion. Um, so I've been using this, like I've just been literally like one or two drops in my hand, coconut oil, rubbing it and then rubbing her chest. Huh. Okay. Um, so that has been helping us. If this guy isn't around me, I've been using lemon and frankincense or I'll kind of alternate and I'll do the same thing. One or two drops of lemon, one or two drops of frank. And sometimes I get more, so I'll just put it on Morgan too. <laughs> you know, like we're all getting it. So we're all getting no it. side effects, only yeah, benefits. Right. And he's like, Mom, why? I'm like, just because. You it feels it. good. <laughs> it smells good. Um, but you know, someone I recently told me, like, think about lemon. If you have something sticky, lemon is a, you know, it helps that sticky residue become like really smooth and it comes off. So yeah. when it comes on our, you know, congested areas, um, it can help break up all those things. Um, same when we take it internally, you know, when moms drink it, it can help get all those things out of your gut. So yeah. that's just a bonus. Um, and then one other thing that I really has been so helpful to me, my kids teeth very fast and very young. And I don't know why, but at four months, they start teething. And oh, wow. it's just, <laughs> it's so sad to see them go through it. Um, I'm sure a lot of moms can relate. So I have um, made like um, when, now I've never had a child with ear problems or anything wrong in that area of their body, but I kind of um, do this just in those seasons of teething and under the weather because it's probably just going to help them anyway. Um, but this has one to two drops lavender, melaleuca, and rosemary. Again, Ooh. you don't have all those. Like, just use one of those. Um, but this is a 10 mil bottle, and I literally just do their ear bone. Okay? And um, it just, again, for me, has helped keep everything else at bay. And I've never had to go down that route of ear issues. And then for teething, um, I have, so this is a lavender. This is from doTERRA, but I added in a drop of clove to mine. Um, clove is a numbing agent. So I literally just roll like her jaw and like her cheeks um, when she's teething. And then again, another mom had already done this. So um since it's diluted well, and you can take both of those internally, she just rubbed like her kids' gums um, yeah. when they were teething. So. The lavender and the clove? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, I don't have it near me either, but Kapiba was another one I used for teething. Um, and I, again, I just take the Kapiba bottle, turn it over, and just kind of like rub her gums with it. Yeah. And you guys, she, sl she sleeps through the night. Like, and she's, a, I know that she doesn't feel good. Like, you know, when your child doesn't feel good and they're teething, but that has like significantly been like my lifesaver for, um, teething season. So that has helped me a ton. Um, I'm trying to look over anything else I might have here. So we're not going through the teething phase anymore, but we're going through the braces phase. Oh, <laughs> for yeah. now, we're like, you could do the clove. Yeah, so the braces, just, you I know, remember the, those days. Was, yeah, but, oh, I wish I would have had all them. different ages of your kids. <laughs> yes, and it helps. I mean, people have toothaches, and I've known them to put clove or on guard, like, or, you know, not uh, when they just don't are feeling good, you know, in their mouth, in that field. Right. You know, it's great. Another, uh, I don't use this one a ton, but the oregano roller. Um, now, again, if I don't have this, but I usually have an oregano oil bottle, you can just put your own, and I would just put one drop in a 10 mil. But I use oregano only um, sporadically if my kids are, again, like fighting something. Mm -hmm. um, not if they're not fighting something, but if they're fighting something. And I won't use it, and I normally don't have to use it past, you know, like three, four days. But I'll put this on the bottom of their feet. Um, just to boost that extra um, immunity and we call oregano one of the big guns. So um, yeah. I bring it out during, you know, a season where we might really be trying to kick something in the butt. Um, but Very powerful. Only 10 days. They say 10 days on and then take some time off. And if you need it, another 10 days because it's that powerful. Yes. Yep. Um, I think that's, I mean, the basic and then a couple of tidbits. But 
Um, I hope that helps you guys because it has, I mean, it's a journey, but I would say, you know, follow people like Bonnie, um, follow, uh, you know, if she suggests someone like just absorb it. Even if you can't apply it all right now, you know, in this moment, you know, it's just good to constantly be, um, listening to the women that are in the vein that you want to be in, you know, and it's usually a uplifting, positive, um, person and environment. So, and that's kind of what I've done. I have so many screenshots of things that like I want to do or that, you know, I've done that work to share. So, um, it's okay to not do it all right now, but just take what's important to you and, um, what you think you can add in and just do that. So I love that. Okay. Wait, we're not ready yet. First of all, where can they find you? Where can they follow you at? Yeah. So I have an Instagram, um, and that's kind of, uh, it's real life on there, but it is some, um, you know, real life doTERRA too, and how I run my business with my two kids. So, um, it's just Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y, N as in Nancy, Knox, K-N-O-X. And then I have, um, an oil page as well. It's just essential oils with Ashley. And then that's it. Those are the two that I use the, the most, um, you know, just incorporating things that me and my family use, um, what I'm passionate about, things we're getting rid of in our house or, um, you know, just that I, I want to make it easy because I remember being, you know, a new mom and just not knowing where to start. So again, I just try to like make it easy for you guys to do incorporate things. So I love that. So I'm, I'm going to have you put your links in the comments. Okay. But then two, one thing that you mentioned, well, one, I love in the beginning that you said you're a good mom to everybody because everyone is always trying to do their best, right? I learned that from Brene Brown. Everyone is always doing their best. And so that's what I love that our communities can just help encourage them to do what's the next best thing. Yeah. What's the next thing? And just constantly just trying to better ourselves for our families. And, you know, and when we're full too, we can give our best. Um, but the other thing, before we even got live on, you were talking about deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> so what, were you, what yes. do you want to say about that? <laughs> I'm really passionate about deodorant right now, you guys. Um, so it, it all started with, um, I, my husband is a really good sport and he will, you know, take the things, oil the things, do, but I didn't think that I could get him to switch deodorants because doTERRA just came out with their new, um, version of deodorant, the balance one. And, um, he's so picky about deodorants and I'm really glad that he wants to smell good, but I just really wanted him to switch. And I started to ask myself like, but why do I want him to switch? And how do I know what he's using could be better? Um, and so I heard from somebody, a, a expert in the hormone um, field, and um, she actually spoke at a doTERRA's convention, Dr. Marisa. Um, and she started talking about- Really awesome. Yes, you're so, so good. Um, how- perfumes are in a lot of our products that we use. And I just assumed, you know, like I don't wear perfume. So my products don't have perfume in them either. Um, but they do. And I, so I grabbed his deodorant that he was using. And of course on the back and in the ingredients, like the third one down, it says P A R F U M E. And so I was like, okay, it's bad or, you know, not good. And Dr. Marisa said that it had, um, these, uh, perfumes are actually phthalates. And I was like, well, that's, that sounds, that sounds great. I don't know what that means. So, so I looked up phthalate and a phthalate, um, is supposed to be something that lingers. So now you think of all the things in our house that, um, we used maybe before doTERRA that had a lingering scent to it. Um, the perfume smell. And those are hormone disruptors and um, they can uh, disrupt your um, fat cells and um, endocrine disruptors, which just means that they can mask themselves as something good, but they're not. So anyway, long story short, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need, and again, you guys, like you can't, you know, you have to pick your, pick your lane and pick your battle, you know, but for me, 
doTERRA makes a deodorant, this is an easy switch for me. Shampoo and conditioner is an easy switch for me because doTERRA has that. Well, you're already um, using one. <laughs> right? Yeah. Most of the days. Most days. So I just tried to like um, make the switches that were easy for me. Now I'm still like on the, you know, the makeup hunt and the hairspray hunt and always looking for ways to improve those. But deodorant was an easy switch for me. And my husband likes doTERRA's better than what he was using. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I knew it was good, but I'm really excited that you think it's that good because it is. So that's what you're going to use from now on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it really opened my eyes. Like I used to have like the EWG scanner on my phone and it would scan things before doTERRA in the aisles of like, what's good, what doesn't have like a so clean rating. Right. And what do you trust? Yeah. Amazing what we use and what we soak our kids in and what we put on our bodies that, you know, makes sense to why I might feel off. You know, I can drink lemon water all day and get the benefits, but it's like eating a Whopper cheeseburger if I'm not going to change anything else in my household. You know, like it didn't balance for me, like it didn't make sense to like be like halfway in. So for us, like the cleaning products and the soaps and the beauty, like the face skin, the wash, like that was all easy for me because doTERRA made it so easy um, to just switch out all of the things. Um, so yeah, I was, I'm pretty fired up about toxins right now and perfumes and getting them out of my house. So I love it. You're so inspirational. And I'm like just sitting here like, yes. <laughs> You know, and Ashley is a gold leader in, oh uh, in doTERRA. So she loves helping people and women and moms. You can just hear it in her voice. Oh, we're getting one question. Um, Chelsea asks, what are some oils? Um, I don't want to, I want to be compliant, but if they're, uh, I don't know if you can see the comments, but she said, what are some oils for coughs for toddlers? So what, if someone's feeling under the weather, mm. what would you use for that? Or are you guys dealing with that? Or have yes. you dealt with that? We are. That's that's the congestion that my my ten month old is dealing <laughs> with right now, um, and so that's where the cardamom came in and um, breathe diffusing that uh, the frankincense and lemon on the chest diffusing those, um, and then really like I just. So the way that I always think of it is, what was I going to grab if I didn't have oils? You know, so people always ask me like, well, is it safe to use with my child? And I'm like, well, what were you gonna use? You know, do you know what's in that? Because at least with these products, like I know exactly what's in them and when in doubt, just dilute it, you know? <laughs> use yeah. less drops and just dilute it. Yep. Um, so yes, breathe is good. If you don't have the breathe vapor stick, you know, just put, a drop of breathe in a roller. And if you don't have a roller, put a drop of breathe in your hand with coconut oil and just rub it on their chest. Um, yeah. No, we don't use that product. <laughs> breathe, the breathe stick is the new bit. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and you know what's funny, you guys? I called my doctor the other day, is actually one of the phone nurses, to just tell her, like, ask her if what I should do for this not feeling well child with congestion. And um, she said, you know, like humidifier, saline drops. And I said, okay. And I said, I'm also using lemon and frankincense on her chest to break up congestion. And she said, oh, the kind that you like burn in your home. <laughs> and I was like, no, doTERRA's that are medicinal. And she was like, oh, okay. I mean, and it shouldn't surprise me that, you know, not everyone knows about doTERRA, but it did kind of surprise me. So um, anyway, that's just... A little FYI, not everyone knows about doTERRA. But yeah, I mean, with toddlers, yes. I, I mean, one to two drops of all those things. Breathe, frankincense, lemon, um, cardamom. Uh, I mean, those are the things I've used. And you can even put, like, when Adley was, you know, little and going through, like, the not-so-fun things up in her face, um, I would put the breathe stick on the bottom of her feet. Yep. Because the feet is the best place to put oils for kiddos. So if you don't feel comfortable on the chest, okay, we'll just put them on their feet. Um, you right. know, put and that's what with the old Vicks, so they would do that because it goes yes. the whole body. Chelsea's asking, is it one drop for the roller? But your your baby's also only 10 months old. Yeah, yeah. For the roller, I mean, yes, I have uh, 
You did one drop for the nose for that one, but what about um, if you were making like roller bottles for the chest, or do you just do one drop in your hand with a little bit of coconut oil and rub that on the chest, right? Yes, yes, I've done that if I don't have a roller, but I also okay. made a roller and I labeled it cough and I put one drop lemon, frankincense, um, cardamom, and I think I did put a drop of breathe in there. So and that'd be the best dilution. That's very diluted. That's very safe yeah. for the baby. So if I'm mixing like multiple things, um, I just do one drop. And again, don't freak out if two go in there, but yeah. <laughs> I just started with one. Um, and I would just run that roller on her because again, like it just makes my life easy. I, and honestly, I'm struggling right now because I'm making it harder on myself. I'm keeping all of these roller bottles right next to my changing table. I've done Lyme before uh, because it's good for respiratory um, things too. So, and that for the lemon, for like for the people who don't know that it breaks up like the sticky. If you get gum in your kid's hair, it will take it out. If you buy a picture frame and it like or the glass and there's a sticker, it will take it out. Just put a drop on, like let it like I massage it in a little, and then it will just scrape right off. So it helps sticky things like what you said get unstuck. So yeah. same thing in the body. Yeah. Yeah, so, and, how, like your kids aren't, my kids aren't superhuman, you guys. We still get cold. They just don't last as long, you know, when we're not under the weather for weeks. You know, my, my outside of wellness visits, my children have never had to go see the doctor um, or be on a prescription. So there's something to it, you know, there's something to the rituals that you create in your house. I love it. I love it, Ashley. You are amazing. I am so glad that you were able to bring your wisdom. And obviously, you're helping so many people. The comments are great. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who got on here live and asked questions. And we want to make this a conversation. So that's. I hope you're feeling that. I hope you're liking it. And we have awesome topics coming up in the future. Um, in two weeks, we're doing all about holiday DIYs, so mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what next week is. I have to look at the schedule, but we have some really cool things coming up. So again, Ashley, thank you. Thank let's you. post. Let's. You're welcome. Let's post links of where they can find you and follow you, so they can keep up to date with all of your findings. And I know that you're posting all the hormone videos on Insta Story, and I was like. <laughs> that you know you're you're really inspirational so thank you and um i will leave this up live and again we'll post this to youtube at bonnie donahue and then get it up on the podcast so hope all of you guys have an awesome day and we will see you back here next thursday all right bye you guys bye